Hello everyone. Today we'll learn how to make a remote control uh, robot by assembling the remote control using a DPDT switch and some wires. This is uh, this kit is available at robocrace.in for around uh, rupees one fifty. You can go there and purchase it. Now we'll learn how to assemble the kit. This is the housing of the uh, DPDT switches, which will act as a remote. These are the two DBTT switches. DBTT is uh, double pole, double throw. So these are momentary switches where you press it and release and the switch comes back to neutral. <coughs> There's another variant available in the market, which is the momentary, uh, non-momentary one. And this is a hookup wire. So if you are trying to avoid soldering then you can use the hookup wire or else you can use a multi strand wire and solder them <coughs> to the DBTT switches. Now let us start assembling. So you will be needing a screwdriver and a stripper for this connections. So we'll be needing four wires for the motors. So let's strip the wires. <coughs> we'll be needing this extra fifth wire for making the connections of uh, the battery and the internal connections for the edge bridge. Now for the motor part, let us choose any two colors and make the connections for the motor. <coughs> now this DPDT switch has six terminals. So when you press a, push, a button on either side, then those corresponding terminals get shorted. Suppose I press this side so these two terminals get shorted and these two terminals get shorted similarly when I press this side these two get shorted and these two get shorted <coughs> so let's assign the center terminals for our motors so just take your wire here and twist it to make the connection strong Similarly, do the other one as well. Now, once this is done, we'll make the connection for the edge bridge. Now, for making the edge bridge, you need to short the diagonally opposite terminals of the DBTT switch. So, for that, we'll be cutting a wire from your extra fifth wire. Again follow the same technique, insert and twist. Make sure that <coughs> the loose wires are not touching any of the other terminals apart from the one that you are connecting it. Yep. Now the next terminal. Although I would recommend using a multi-strand wire and soldering them for more strength and robustness. But for temporary applications even this will do. Now the internal connections of the DPTT switch is ready as you can see. Now we'll leave out two wires for the power supply. So we'll be needing two extra wires for the power supply. Now 
just choose any of the uh, two non shorted sides. So now this connection is ready. Now similarly do the same, repeat the same for the other DPTT as well. And once this is done, unscrew the housing. And curl the wire. And just insert the wires through the hole. And press it. So this must fix your switch by uh, the push. So similarly repeat the process for the other switch as well. So now you should end up having these connections. There are four wires coming out for the, your bow motors or DC gear motor or any other motor that you'll be controlling. And there would be two wires each coming out for the power source. Now strip these wires also. And here we'll be using a common power source for both the motors. So we'll be shorting the left wires of both DPTT switches. And similarly the right ones of the other two. And each of these wires would be going to your power source. In this case, we'll be using a 9 volt battery and a battery cap for the connection. So just strip the connection, I mean the packet. And clip the cap. Now you have two wires that is your VCC and ground, 9 volt and ground. So just fix one wire each to both the wires. And you can tape them up with the electrical tape so that they don't get shorted. And I once again recommend you using a ribbon wire instead of the hookup wire and solder the terminals wherever required. Now once these connections are made, you can put the battery inside the box itself. with the connections on the two sides and you can close the box Fasten the screws and what you get is a remote control. Now I'll show you how to make the other part of the connections. For making the other part of the connections you will again need a assembled chassis. This is a two wheel drive kit available at Robocrace. 
so you can buy it and assemble it and this is how it will look after it gets assembled so now these are the two bow motors that we are using and as you can remember we have used blue and green color for one DPTT and black and yellow for the other now all you have to do is insert the wire through the two terminals of the bow motor one by one and again curl it around so that it doesn't come out make sure that the terminals don't touch each other similarly do it for the second one as well and curl it now once this is done this should rotate the motor with the press of a button as you can see the forward is going for the reverse and the reverse is going for the forward this means that we have made the connections in the wrong way and we need to exchange the terminals of the wire now we will flip it and make the connections right the blue one should be on the lower side and the green one should be on the upper side so we'll put the green and blue one on the lower side and green one on the upper side And now, as you can see, we have fixed the problem. Similarly, repeat the same step for the other two wires as well. Instead of twirling, just insert and check this time. And yes, this connection is fine. So just secure the connections by twirling it and your two wheel drive is ready to play Thank you.